Can you imagine a time when the treatment of bone fractures was a long and painful process, devoid of the advancements we have today? Picture a world in the early 20th century, where innovation was just beginning to sprout in the medical field. It was a time of discovery, of pushing boundaries, and of great minds striving to change the face of medicine. Enter Gerhard Kuncher, a man from Zwickau, Germany, whose ingenious invention would revolutionize the treatment of bone fractures. Born in Zwickau, Germany, Gerhard Kuncher would change the face of orthopedics forever. A visionary in his field, Kuncher was the brains behind the innovative Kuncher nail, an internal fixation device designed to hold fracture fragments in place during the healing process. The nail, with its rigid structure and unique cloverleaf shape, was a groundbreaking invention in orthopedic surgery. Kuncher first put his invention to the test in November 1939 at the University Department of Surgery in Kiel. The successful operation was a significant milestone, but it wasn't met with the acclaim one might expect. In fact, when Kuncher presented his technique and results at a surgical meeting in Berlin in early 1940, he was met with general disapproval. The idea of using surgery to treat fractures was a concept many found hard to swallow. Even the German military initially turned up their noses at Kuncher's innovative technique. However, by 1942 they had come to recognize its potential. It was during his time in the Finnish Lapland between 1942 and 1944 that Kuncher's expertise truly began to shine. He taught Finnish surgeons his technique of intramedullary nailing, earning him respect and recognition within the orthopedic community. Despite the initial resistance, Kuncher's invention was about to gain the recognition it deserved. His revolutionary technique was set to change the way fractures were treated, proving that sometimes, the most groundbreaking ideas are those that challenge the status quo. From 1942 to 1944, Kuncher found himself in Finnish Lapland, imparting his revolutionary technique to Finnish surgeons. His teachings, coupled with the effectiveness of his intramedullary nail, earned him a distinguished place of respect in the orthopedic community. However, the expanse of World War II had initially confined the knowledge of Kuncher's technique within Germany's borders. It wasn't until the war's end, when prisoners of war returned home, that Kuncher's legacy began to spread globally. These returned soldiers, many of whom were airmen with broken femurs treated by Kuncher himself, carried steel reminders of his groundbreaking work. Allied doctors accustomed to a six-week bed rest recovery period were astounded to see these men walking mere days after surgery. This was a testament to the power and potential of Kuncher's invention. In the words of A.W. Fisher, Kuncher's procedure was, the greatest revolution in the treatment of bone fractures since the invention of nail extension by Clapp, and indeed, this revolution did conquer the world.